All right, guys, we are going to build this and just this. One, one, and one other thing. But for the most part, this. Not too bad. Not too bad. You might want to have some silicone for the screws in the roof. But has room for about three chickens, four bantams, a removable poo tray. Might want to screw the nest bar down. I'll have to look into that. And then egg box. With a divider in there would be nice. And it has a little left. Stay tuned, we'll put it together. All right guys, we bought the chicken, <laughs> sorry, we bought the cheapest chicken coop you can get on Amazon, 99 bucks. Here it is. That would, okay. Now it's FedEx for you, but most delivery places now are messing up. So, we'll get it unboxed, I'll lay it out, and then we'll see what we got. We'll see what tools we need. Because it doesn't... It doesn't say anything. It's how much weight, 44, 49, whatever. So, I'll get it unboxed. I'll lay it out up here where the chickens are. They're hanging out. I got one that's picking the feathers off of everybody. I think we got them isolated over there. But I want to get this set up for spring when we hatch some small ones. Plus I want to give you guys an idea what size it is. Because they have little kids standing next to the pitcher. Nine bucks. The next one up is like 700 bucks. So. <clears throat> I guess it could work for rabbits too. Looks like it has an egg. A raw egg box. So we'll check it out. all the hardware screws a lot of screws all right guys I got all the pieces laid out it's gonna be small so it'd be good for bantams one or two but it is pretty small you can tell by the pieces I mean the pictures are very deceiving on Amazon but for a hundred bucks you gotta kind of know but this should have a little house a little pull-out tray it would be good for when you first get little chickens, you want to get them out when they're small. But once they start getting bigger, it's not going to be any good. Because, I mean, here, I mean, here's my hand. You can see it's not very big. It's not very uh, stout, I should say. It doesn't look. So you want to be careful with that. To come with some roofing material... No, no, it's fairly small. Got the instruction book, and then here's the hardware. For the most part, it looks like Phillips screws, lots of Phillips screws, and then there's a few bolts. So let me run and grab my <clears throat> impact driver, and we'll start to assemble it. And it has a clear roof over the yard. There's that one little piece I just showed you. So it's as tall as the whole house. So you, you can tell it's going to be... You can tell it's going to be pretty short. Pretty small. Let me go grab some tools. Alright, three pieces you need. One thing to look out for is to make sure your screw holes on each of these pieces is at the very top. And then you're going to need this little square piece. It's got the little pegs. You're going to fit them into the, the little holes on the side. Now make sure your wire is stapled on the inside. Everything's going to be on the inside. Here's your little P3 or P2. I'm just going to start one to hold it. Alright, that's the first step. That's what you're going to get. Little side panel, other side panels. Just make sure your little screw hole is at the very top. And there should be another one somewhere here at the very top. 
and your wires staple on the inside. So let me uh, find the next step and we'll be right back. All right guys, here's the next part we're gonna build. Now, it's gonna be hard to build it on top of that. So we're gonna build it separate and then set it on top. The things, just look at the picture, things to look for. Especially hinges, so your hinges are gonna be on the outside. And there's the dial holes for the dials. These have little dials that go into the holes. Kind of line it up. That's what we're gonna look for. Instructions are pretty lackluster, I do say. You just gotta kind of look at the picture and take your time. Pop out the... It does smell like it's made out of a maybe a cedar, a certain kind of cedar. So maybe that'll help it. And again, look for your holes where your dowels will go. I'll tell you the inside. I'm gonna start to screw a little bit because I want to get the other side popped in. Make sure that little wooden notch is on the inside. The chicken door, it slides to the side. The door parts on the outside, the little handle. This is gonna be what your inside looks like. We'll get this started in here. Again, it just goes into the little hole and pegs. Has pre-drilled holes on each side. I'm just gonna snug it in there. Now, if you want, you could probably get a little wood glue or whatnot and run down there. A little one wood glue and run down the sides before you tighten everything up. And that might give you a little bit of better uh, stability. Got one more screw at the end on this side. Okay, there we go. If you're gonna glue it, just make sure you got everything the right direction. Okay. So that is this piece built. Now we gotta set it up on there and see if we can get it drilled in the screws into there. And I'm on a slope a little bit, so now the door is. Again, when you're screwing this down, just be extra careful not to zip it on through there. Just kind of eyeball your little pieces straight up and down. Here, there's another one there and there. If you are going to move this thing around, I do advise to be very careful. All right. This has four screws to hold the top onto the bottom. And next, we'll find the next step, see what we got. It's just this bar. I'm pretty sure it's the roost bar. It just goes in here, boop, right across there. And then you got your tray. It's gonna be your poop tray. And it should just go, ah, it's hard to do this one-handed. Should just slide right on in here. Yeah, a little bit of that paper stuck to it. Well, there's your tray. As you can see, it's pretty small. Next step, what do we got? We got that in, we got the bar and the poop tray. Now we gotta find our two, three pieces. Our two angle pieces up there, and I believe that piece. We got angle piece, both angle pieces. This piece, which I believe is gonna be the nest box, which will sit over this back piece. And what you're gonna look for is this is gonna be the inside. See how it's uh, which we call it. That'll be your inside, and that'll go. We can get it lined up. And it's, this is gonna add a little more structure to it. This looks like they got it bolted. Which is weird to have this little lip here. This little lip's gonna allow where water and stuff can sit. Should have been all the way out. 
keep it. I see why they did it though, so you can bolt it. It gets bolted together right here. So make sure this is the inside. And you have your other piece. It's gonna go right over there. And the bolts are gonna, ow. Watch out for that, it's a little sharp. Uh, bolts are gonna run through and it's gonna bolt it to there. And your back piece. Your back piece is right here, which will bolt them two pieces together. Which same thing. This all this little lip stuff and stuff is gonna be your inside. And you got your screw pre-drilled screw holes. Which are gonna fit in here. So let me get my the bolts and we'll bolt it together. Through. It's showing I'm going this direction. Got the nuts on the inside. I have my mini mini nice little adjustable guys. Sometimes you carry these in your pocket and they come in handy for all kinds of stuff. I'm actually gonna put I'm actually not gonna tighten these up yet. We'll see how much can I oh never mind. I can flex the back, never mind. Might not want to tighten them up a whole bunch bunch in case you can't move the back part, but it's got some flex to it. Just be careful. I'll get this side on and then we'll pop the back on. Quick, I did see a stamp on here, it says K. And then here's little uh I guess brackets to hold open the lid. Let's get the back on. <coughs> I don't believe this is painted. I think it's just primed. Alright. Like I said, if you know your this is for sure the setup, I would get some uh gorilla wood glue, put a little bit on each little joint seam area before you put the screws in. Make it a little bit more tougher. And a little more resistant to like bugs and cold air drafts, stuff like that. So we got our bolts in. Whatever that picture is, is pretty terrible. So I'm, I don't even know what that is. All right, so now we're gonna find our top part. Now you wanna find this part, it has the notched out corners. This is gonna go down your bottom. This is your nesting floor. I'm sure I would've known that, I kinda would've put it in before I got it all screwed together. I mean, it's just dropping down in here. Mm. There you go. I guess it's so you can take it out and clean it. But yeah, that's right there. Small notches here, big notches over here. So that's the nesting floor. I would have preferred the back to be the one that folded down instead of the top, but it's just how it is. All right, next we're going to put our roof on P4 times 8. And the little bags are labeled P4 with screws. And to drill, we'll go grab the uh, roof tops. All right, guys, this is the bottom part. This is going to be at your top. That's your rooftop. See how it's got the notch out? There's a piece of cap that goes over it. Same thing, it's got these little little tabs to make sure you get them in. There we go. Now it has, you just run your screws through there and there. You're probably gonna wanna get a dab of silicone and put over each screw because you're running right through your shingles. One thing I don't like about that. You can come back and just put a little dab of sealer over it. Remember you got your little notch out, it's gonna go up top. Just gotta find your little indents in the bottom. And right here in these corners is where the screw goes. I'm gonna snug mine down past it a little bit and I'll come back and put a little bit of clear silicone on there. I'm gonna try to keep my chickens dry. We're supposed to put the ramp on too, but we can do that in a little bit. Getting all these big main pieces out of the way. We'll do the ramp before we do the the front part, because then you won't, it'll be hard to reach in. Well, this piece goes across here. Let's see if they want to put it on now. All right, yeah, there you go. So now you got your little, you got your little roof piece. 
Give me this little shingled piece right here. And it'll drop in right over the top. And it's gonna have four screws again, which is gonna be your last, you know, they give you an extra one. But like I said, you wanna sink it just a little bit in and then put some clear silicone over it. I think I have some left. I installed an electrical box for the Traeger on the porch. And I put silicone all behind it. This is like a rollout roof shingle material. So if you're in the south in the summer, this is going to get pretty warm. Not sure how good the rain is. Shouldn't be a lot of rain hitting this. It's such a small square area, but there's going to be some rain hitting it. Also got ourselves an egg out of the chicken tractor over there. But your little ramp, I'm actually using, <laughs> I'm actually using the ramp as my workstation. So we're going to have to switch. Got a bag here. We'll just throw our stuff on the bag. But just like how we built ours, sort of, this one has hinges that they're using to put it up. It's just going to go right over here in the front. And you can put your hinges right up there. Just kind of center it in the door opening. So let me get that done. And I'll come back and I imagine... Let's see. Well, we got to do the back piece. There's a piece of wood with uh, like a flexible plastic that's going to go on it. So you can lift this up and down. And the water can go off of that. And the, the last parts we'll be doing is the last run pieces. There's a tiny piece, two piece, and then there's like a clear roof. Greenhouse roof like thing. Alright guys, the key for putting your hinges in. Make sure they're the, the little barrel parts at the very bottom. If you put it up too high like I did the first time, <laughs> the door can't shut. But see what they have? They got their screws. Just make sure your hinge is right at the bottom part there. And this will lift up. So there we go. You can close it at night. Okay, here's the rooftop piece. Bottom part has going to latch. Make sure both your hinges are flipped down this way before you start screwing them on. Because if you got one flipped around and then that one, it's going to be a pain. Now this, you just kind of look at your, you can measure it, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. But look at your overhang here and here. Same thing there. You just kind of want to center it. You know, look down the side, get it, you know, whatever you want to do. And we're going to put this, probably going to, I'll probably end up pushing down just a little bit because it's a little crooked. Push it down and I'll screw this in and then we got this little weather bar we're gonna put in it has like a little clear piece of plastic that kind of keeps the rain and stuff out of there all right we're gonna install the rain guard for the nest box you do gotta drill through the plastic no wait all right sorry I was wondering what you shouldn't have to drill through the plastic. It's better to put it this way. It'll keep it curved and flat. So make sure your plastic's on the inside, your wood's on the outside. Pre-drilled holes on the out. Uh, the instructions are not super duper. They're also not that bad either though. All right, it's on there it looks like. Get you guys a view of what we got. Got this little locking mechanism. You gotta kind of fish it over, come out, and that kind of. You can raise this up. It's got this little like board you can put on there, and there's the nesting box. For a small little backyard thing, this should be all right. That's the roof. We have the roof on. Let's get up to the front and we'll do the front cage. All right guys, we're almost there. Last we'll do the little latches. There's like a little set of latches right there. Well, basically, here's the run area, I guess you'd call it. Same thing, ow! You on some screws. <laughs> Same thing, you got the little hole. And on the other side, you're gonna have your little tab. Your little tabs will line up in there. And you'll go on through. And then it'll just uh, run your screws in. Get your screw hole right there. There's one there, there, and there. There's actually four on this. That's pretty good. 
Same thing there. You'll get your other one in. Make sure your wire's on the inside. Slope down. Then you got your end piece, which looks like there's no, okay. And then same thing, it's got the little holes drilled and then it'll slide on in. Make sure the wire's on the inside again. Put it all in, screw it together. So I'll get that done and we'll come back and see about the roof panel. Alright, there's your four screws, which is good. Should help strengthen that up a little bit, which it did. Just be careful. Walk them in slowly. Make sure you don't crack it. So far, it's, it's fitting. I haven't had any fitment issues yet. So, that is a good thing. Get the other side, put the other side on. There's the door. I'm, I'm sure there's a little latch and plate that mounts in a little loop right here. And the same thing here will be one there, and then there'll be one there. And that should be it. It's gonna have that little bevel on that edge, it's gonna go down. It's gonna slide up under there. This is gonna be your bottom part, because see it has these little cutouts. The water and stuff will drain out through there. If you don't do that, then it's just gonna puddle up. So and that's gonna be your top part. You're gonna run your screws down, there's four of them. And then all that left is the latches. All right, guys, forgive the sun, shadows, whatnot, but this is how these hinges are gonna work. They are spring-loaded. Home the wrong direction. Right. Pops open. So you're just gonna have to bolt them on the opposite side of the door. Give yourself a little bit of room. So when it's unlocked, the door can swing. And then when it's shut, this will keep it from opening. It doesn't have that little loop piece like most of them do, but that's how it'll go. There ain't a whole lot of room, and there's only two little screw dealies. So that's how they have them. You can upgrade yours later on if you'd like. But let me get them on, and we'll take a look, and then we'll wrap it up. It's about how you're going to get it. This has to be up past this door. There's a door over here. If you got it down, you won't be able to open this door. I really don't know why this door is here. Maybe the chickens run back here, you, you can reach them or whatnot, but there's, there's a lot of doors going on right here. They have these little spring lat latch things. Opens up, closes. Here, I decided to use longer screws. Um, it's, it's, you don't got a whole lot of room to play with. So, then I also forgot to tell you guys, it has a little... But technically, if you wanted to get chickens that ran under there, you could just pull this out and reach down. Now this door, I feel, is kind of unnecessary. I'd probably just block it off. You just run a long screw through here and there. But I'm going to put the latch on it. Maybe the wife will get rabbits for her school or for her classroom. Heck, this thing's not even that big. It could probably fit in a classroom. You just get one of them, uh, was it AstroTurf? Like a piece is like 15 bucks for that size. So, I don't know. So we'll put this on. They kind of shorted me on some screws. So, but then they also gave me some longer screws, extra. So I just, I'm just going to use a little bit longer screws. And the way you got to do this, it's hard for me to camera in. They got this block of wood here. Now, normally you want to be back more where you can get, oh, this is crooked where you can get a better bite. So it'll, it'll probably work here. But the other ones, if I, it would have been back too much and it wouldn't have worked. So here's probably all right. You get a view from the grass. I wish my bit was magnetic. This wood's kind of soft. You can kind of just push it in and it'll hold it. It's, it's a little crooked, but. Everything's be easy with that. I, th I think I bent it. <laughs> that still works. That's it. Recommendations. Before you put it, the panels all together, put more staples in. You, you want to have extra staples just to hold this wire from being pushed in too much. Some of it you can reach. You can open this door. Come in here and just 
staple a lot more. That'll make it a little more safer. Uh, better latches. And then if you can get some of this wire, what you can do is staple or bolt it to this bottom piece, have it come out, you know, half a foot or so all the way around. And when something tries to dig, it'll just hit this wire and it'll give up. Hopefully. Well, no, it's, it's not bad. Tractor Supply did have these, I think this year or last year, might have been this year, for like $499. Like, that is outrageous. Should only take about an hour to put together or so. Maybe a little less, a little more. Depends if you got it up on the table, if you're out in the grass. But all that I used was my impact driver. You need a screwdriver to take longer. And then you just need a little pair of, little pair of nip X's or something to, for the four bolts inside. But, I mean, for 100 bucks nowadays 100 bucks is like 20 dollars unfortunately so it's really not that bad it can get you started you know you could i don't know i don't really keep rabbits but maybe a couple rabbits in here three or four rabbits if you wanted you could eventually get one more which is kind of annoying is the shipping and handling 80 bucks for shipping is ridiculous so for 200 bucks it would still be hard to build something like this for 200 bucks if you had a table saw and you had a lot of time, you could rip it down. But you gotta count your time as money too. If you spend a week building this, you know, it's it's just worth buying it. That's it guys. I appreciate you for watching. I'm gonna try to do a camping trip tomorrow. A little stealth camping in the back 40. Hopefully. Back's acting a little weird. I will say. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Do like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys... I'm going to see you next, I guess, right?